Scientists at MIT have discovered a much more precise way to edit the genome, which dramatically lowered the error rate of prime editing, which is a new technique that we're going to cover today. And this holds the potential for treating all sorts of genetic disorders, laboratory research, and just genetic engineering in general. Now, many of you are probably familiar with genetic engineering becoming possible in the 90s and very popular in the mid to late 2000s with something like CRISPR. And the way that CRISPR works is if you look at your genes like their train tracks, we're oversimplifying you split and splice and split and splice and you're kind of making cuts in multiple levels of the train tracks well there's this other technique that came out in 2019 called prime editing to where instead of having to cut both levels of the train tracks you can do precise insertions into the genetic code for a lower error rate and just sort of less genetic damage to whatever it is that you're working on the downside is that CRISPR and prime editing had errors. Even if prime editing is better, it still had error rates. Well, MIT researchers have now found a way to dramatically lower the error rate in prime editing using modified versions of proteins involved in the process. So when we're talking about error rates, when this technology was new, prime editors used to have an error rate of about one in seven edits. And then it would go to about one in 101 for the most used editing mode. As it improved over time, we would go from one error in 122. And now for this new high precision mode, it would go all the way up to one error in 543 pieces of genetic code. So we are getting close to like a one one thousandth error rate, which is a huge improvement over one in seven, especially when you're doing gene editing on something that could theoretically be alive. The goal is to use something that has as few side effects as possible, and this was achieved by taking advantage of one of the side effects of the Cas9 protein, pictured here, uh, that's used in this process to weaken certain parts of the strain and make it easier to break apart and add in additional DNA sequences. This relaxation, the researchers discovered, makes the old DNA strands less stable, so they get degraded, making it easier for the new strands to be incorporated without introducing any errors. So the error rate is going way, way down on gene editing. And before you think that means we're gonna be able to make man-animal hybrids and you're gonna to get to transform into the Mothman and we're all gonna genetically engineer solutions to all genetic disorders in the future, that's a bit optimistic, but it'll certainly make clinical laboratory research of specific genes way easier, which means faster, which means more progress on science and solutions towards other things.